Hey everyone, so welcome back to this channel. My name is Eleanor, if you're new here, welcome. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Basically, in this video today, we're gonna be talking all things dentistry and my journey to dentistry. So we're gonna be talking about why I picked dentistry, how I came about picking dentistry, the process, the, the, the leading up to applying for dentistry. Obviously, dental applications are going to be due in about three months, so October 15th. So we wanna start a little series. I don't, why am I saying we like we're a family? I'm gonna start a little series, basically about my journey to dentistry, this one. And we're gonna be talking a couple of things, you know, like personal statements maybe, some UK, some UCAT, sorry, I keep saying UKCAT because that's what I used to call it, but I feel so old. Before we get into the rest of the video, I've got a really exciting announcement. I've recently partnered up with this amazing company called I Want To Be A Dentist, and it's pretty self-explanatory. A massive company, a massive portal for prospective dental students. All I'm gonna say is, if you're looking into studying dentistry or you definitely know you want to study dentistry if you do not visit this website you would genuinely be missing out like that is how good it is when i was applying back in 2015 i spent so many hours researching 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 like it was long i didn't know anything i didn't know anything about which universities did dentistry, what the courses would entail, at all. I didn't know any of it. And this website literally has everything you need to know in one place, which will save you so much time. It will give you so much time to basically spend doing more productive things like personal statement, UCAT revision, BMAT revision, all that kind of good stuff. Genuinely, it is incredible. It has so many free resources. And not only that, it's got pre-interview packages. Oh, it's amazing. They've got people reading personal statements. They've got UCAT questions and mocks. And let me tell you this, they've got an exact UCAT simulation mock. How incredible is that? Like it literally looks the exact same as what you will be sitting in your real exam. Like genuinely, like how incredible. You you can literally sit the exam in real time exactly the same way it will look in the real thing before your exam. You've even got the opportunity to literally schedule a free call to someone in the team that will go through personal statement stuff, any questions you might have, any application questions you might have. Imagine you've literally got someone on the inside because this company is literally run by dentists and dental students. So everyone in the company has already gone through what you are going to be going through. So they know exactly how you feel. They know exactly what you need to do to get where you want to be. No other company I've seen out there can like provide all of these services to you in one place. I genuinely wish I had something like that when I was applying because I spent so long trying to figure out like just everything about dentistry, just everything about the application process. Imagine you've got an entire page of all the universities with all of their links. Anyway, they have a book coming out also. Also, like I've mentioned, got pre-interview packages. If you are a prospective dental student, you will want to definitely stay tuned because I will have some exciting giveaways. I'll have some exciting discounts for all of you guys who want these packages. If I could turn back time, I would 1000% hand on heart go on these courses like i'm not just saying that if you know me i cannot pretend to like something if i don't like it i genuinely wear my heart on my sleeve and this is something i really believe in i genuinely believe how many times am i going to say genuinely i really honestly believe that this the whole company can really benefit all prospective dental students so that was just an introduction the next couple of videos i will be doing will be solely about i want to be a dentist so if you're interested do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe to their channel check both of our instagram pages out and without further ado let's just get straight into the video why the hell did i pick dentistry if you went to school with me and you're watching this video i don't really know why you're watching because um you're all probably graduating now anyway <laughs> but if you are watching this video hey how are you well remember that i basically at school in chemistry and biology would basically not steal gloves i'd, I'd be kind of gifted them by the, the teachers because they knew my love for gloves ran deep so i've always loved gloves plasters bandages like any cut it didn't matter what size cut it was i would be like mommy i need a plus 
sister like give it to me i always was into that that kind of stuff um and i always wanted to do medicine i always wanted to be a doctor i thought helping people wow so rewarding i thought medicine will have gloves it'll have bandages it'll have plazas it'll have all of it but instead well i did dentistry plot twist why did i do dentistry so let's go back let's rewind a little bit so there I am, a little year 11 girl who's just actually just finished year 11 and I've got this two week placement in this hospital. So my mum basically works in a private hospital and she's a pharmacist. And anyway, she managed to sort me out with two weeks of work placement, work experience, whatever you want to call it, in the field of just medicine. Okay, so when we're still not talking dentistry here, we're talking medicine. At the end of year 11 in my little, you know, placement clothes, went to this hospital, which was so far away from our house. But anyway, went to the hospital and I basically shadowed so many different doctors. So orthopedics, ophthalmologists, general surgeons, SHOs, registrars, junior doctors, this person, that person, so many people. But I was really specifically interested in ophthalmology and I don't know why. I was literally, what, what age are you in year 11? I don't know, but I was young. How would I know that I wanted to go down this path of like a 14 year training thing to become an ophthalmologist, I don't know, uh, beyond me, but I really was interested in ophthalmology. So then I shadowed mainly ophthalmologists, there was two, there was a woman and a man, was in you know the clinics with them, and then they would go into surgery like the next day and do like a whole list of like 20 different cataract surgeries. So basically the same thing over and over again for the whole day. So that was when I was like, you know what, you know like, I'm bored, I'm bored of this. So I was low key thinking, I don't know if I can do this, maybe this life ain't for me. On my very, literal, very last day, like I literally had one foot out the door. I was basically put in the staff room because no one was free to let me shadow them. Anyway, that meant that I was chilling with some nurses and then they got called in for an emergency dental thing. So then I was like, okay, um, cool, see you later. But they were like, no, no, come with us. So I was like, okay. So I went with these, these nurses to this thing theater and there was a guy there and I was like right so what, what are we even doing like you know and basically it was an oral surgeon an oral maxillofacial surgeon he was taking out uh, an impacted wisdom tooth so you know the wisdom teeth. he was just taking one of those out surgically because it was a bit complicated to, to do it in practice anyway I was chatting away with him he was so nice asking me loads of questions like like you know what do I what, what do I want to do like what has interested me these two weeks all this kind of stuff so I was like oh okay chatted to him and I was like oh I don't know like I don't know if medicine's for me like it's really long it's really repetitive like medicine itself is really hard like the training is long like la 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 the work-life balance maybe not the one for me like on calls like night shifts all that kind of stuff and he was like well why don't you do dentistry then and I was like Okay, well, you know, I don't know, we'll see how this little extraction thing goes, and then if I like it, we'll go ahead for it. Because up until that point, I was thinking, damn, dentistry is disgusting, because looking inside people's mouths and stuff is just, you know? Little did I know, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, he did this little surgery, and I was literally like, this is so cool. So, chatted to him a little bit more, you know, asked him a little bit little couple questions you know what do you think about dentistry do you like it like la, 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 la. and he was gassing it so i was like cool let me let me look into it you know let me look into it but basically at that point i had basically decided i'm not doing medicine i really want to do dentistry so then i made it my absolute life mission to do dentistry and i you know looked on youtube i looked on um just like websites and stuff spoke to other dentists other dental students about what they thought and they were all really positive about dentistry a lot of people said it was really stressful, um, but then at the same time, I was like, yeah, but medicine and dentistry, they're both pretty stressed. Like you're, you're dealing with patients here, like people, like real life people. So that didn't really phase me. I really loved the fact that dentistry was so artistic. Like imagine your mouth, yeah? Your mouth is tiny, but then to do like fillings and to do like cosmetic stuff on your teeth is really intricate. Like you are, you have to be really meticulous with what you're doing. Like every movement you have to think like before you do it. Um, so that was, I just thought that was really cool. I was really into art. I played the piano, like all of that good stuff. Like I was really, I, I really liked the artistic side of things. And I really liked the, the fact that you were helping people. Like I, I wanted to, a career that was um, rewarding. I really, I really liked helping people. Okay, so that is basically how I got interested in dentistry. And then over that summer, basically looked up 
a lot of different unis. I looked up basically everything you need to know about dentistry. So all of the universities that do it and all the universities that don't. So funny fact, Oxford and Cambridge don't do dentistry. Um, I think it's weird, but they don't do dentistry. There's only about 15 or 16 dental schools in the whole country that actually do dentistry, which I think is ridiculous. But then again, the cost of running dentistry is quite high. But it does mean that unfortunately, the application process and just getting in becomes 10 times more competitive. Every uni kind of had similar, but a little bit slightly different entry requirements. Only one university at the time needed to do a BMAT. So all of the other dental schools wanted the UK CAT or the current UCAT, but then Leeds wanted both the UCAT and the BMAT. So I <laughs> took a couple open days, looking at things like trying to pick which unis I wanted to go to. So my parents were really keen on me going to other arts or Kings because those are the only two universities that are in London. And if I haven't said it before, I'm from London, born here, raised here, live in London. I'll probably die in London, you know. And I was really considering it. Went to the open days with my mum. My mum was so gassed. Honestly, I don't think she even looked at the dental schools. Like she didn't care. She just wanted to be in London, you know, so that I can commute and like save loads of money on rent, but also just like be near them. You know, but then went to a couple of different open days across the country, spoke to a couple of different people, and I decided to apply to unis up north. I for sure applied to Leeds and Belfast because those are the only two unis that I actually got interviews at. So before I got in, whilst I was doing all this application stuff, as soon as I found out in year 11 that I kind of didn't want to do medicine anymore and I really wanted to do dentistry, I started looking for more work experience because my mum always said that how would you know what you want to do unless you've had experience? So I think one day my dad was going for a filling or a checkup or something and I went with him so that I could physically in person go and ask the dentist there our dentist our family dentist if I could just you know annoy him a little bit and just come and shadow him and he was so so gassed he was more than happy to be like yeah for sure come please come please like Cool. Anyway, that worked out really well. I did some paperwork and I ended up going to our local dentist once a week, every Tuesday after school for about three or four hours. It was amazing. It was so good. So I got a lot of experience. I got so much experience. I even started doing a lot of dental nursing stuff for him. So there was him as a dentist, there was a dental nurse and there was me. And she was so, they were all, everyone was just lovely, right? And she would be like, okay, so you know, for fillings, you need this, you need that, like bring this out, it's over there. And then she'd show me how to like use the autoclave and all that kind of stuff. So I ended up nursing a lot for him, you know, suctioning. She, she was the f first person, the nurse was the first person that told me how to use a suction which was really cool and I felt like I was really ahead of the game you know and then anyway stayed there literally until the end of year 13 like even after I got my offer like literally stayed there until the end of year 13 but the really really cool thing was that my guy opened up a practice in Harley Street and he asked me to reception for him he asked me to come over with him to Harley Street and help him set up some stuff so we set up the practice it was like a two surgery two surgery practice on Harley Street and it was so beautiful and I you know learned some softwareing stuff for you know the dental software I he also got a lot of cool stuff so he got like my, the first intro or scanner I ever saw was in 2015 how cool is that 2015 it was just invaluable for me as as a dental student now and also going like into my life like I'll always remember that stuff and it also helped me get into dental school that was the main thing it helped me not only understand like really solidify that I really want to do dentistry but it also helped me actually get in because oh my goodness I flexed that all over my personal statement I was like yeah I went for like two years I was nursing blah, blah. like I was flexing and then I think my personal statement I literally I think by the end of it I had about 25 drafts so everyone used to tell me start early start early and you know perfect it and I think what did I do left it for when I got back to school in September and then started it which probably wasn't the smartest thing because it only gave me like a month but in that month I was also doing my A2s I was also doing work experience I was also preparing for the like the UCAT the BMAT all that kind of stuff so it's quite hectic so if I could give you a tip if you're watching this as a prospective dental student I would say start your personal statement probably in summer holidays and get like a couple drafts in email them to your you know supervisors at, at school they'll be happy to look over it or if you want email me and I can look, o look over it for you and give you know a couple of tips and hints and um, I will link my email down below well that wasn't even supposed to be in this video but yeah if you want help with personal statement I can help you just link just email me down below and 
what else? Yeah, so my UK cat, my UCAT, oh my god, and it's not saying UK cat. My UCAT and BMAT, I basically did my UCAT first and then my BMAT. I gave myself a month for each. I also went on one course that had the UCAT and BMAT combined. It was actually a medicine course, but because medicine you have to do both, or at least you had to do both at the time, it was a medicine course, but it, you know, they tailored it a little bit to dentistry for, for us as well. But that was really good. It was quite expensive, but it was really good. And I also used a couple of books and get an interview at Belfast and Leeds. So my Belfast interview was first. I went to Belfast with my mum. We literally had to take a plane. Like I didn't even realise I had to take a plane. That sounds really stupid, but didn't really feel like I did amazing in that. I was really scared. I was really nervous. It was my first interview ever. So naturally. But anyway, it gave me really good, you know, practice for my Leeds interview. So then in my Leeds interview, oh my goodness, I knew as soon as I came out, I was like, oh yeah, that went well. Like I was happy, you know? I came out of my mum, I was like to my mum, oh yeah, like that went really well. I think that went really well. I really enjoyed it. Like I actually enjoyed the interview process. Obviously at the time I was like, oh my God. Before it, I was like, oh my God. But then straight after I was like, oh my God, that was so much fun. Because it leads was like MMI, which is multiple mini interview station. So I had like, I don't know how many stations there were, but it was quite a lot. And each station had a completely different theme. And then on the 11th of March, I still remember because I was literally like, I got my offer from Leeds. I was so, so, so happy because not only was the interview so good, the people were lovely, the facilities were great. It was literally everything I wanted in a uni. It still is, I would not go anywhere else. I'm so happy I went to Leeds. It's just great, it's so good. So I got my offer and now I'm fourth year. Next academic year, I will be in my fifth and final year and then I'll be an actual dentist. Like how crazy is that? Like genuinely, it has flown by, blah, blah, blah. It has flown by. Because I was like, oh my God, it's so long, five years, blah, blah, blah. But then everyone was like, no, like this is gonna fly by. I wish I was still at uni. And now, like, here, I'm kind of feeling it. So I've made an Instagram page, by the way, I should have just said that at the start. I've also made an Instagram page for my dental journey. So if that's something that interests you, don't forget to follow. Let me know what you thought about this, this video in the comments, like, subscribe, share, all of that jazz. I will see you all later. That was so gross. Ugh. Bye. <laughs>